hi dear students welcome back to the physics class today we are going to start our fourth chapter reflection of light you already learned about reflection so let's start our chapter all of you know that light is a form of energy essentially required to see objects reflection and refraction are the phenomena responsible for this and today we are going to learn more about reflection of light so let's have more discussion on reflection of light light falling on the surface of an object comes back to the same medium this is reflection of light that we already learned here you can see a plane mirror and we already know that such a change occurs in accordance with the laws of reflection of light here you can see a light incident or falls on a surface and that ray is called the incident ray and the point where it falls is the point of incidence and from the point of incidence the ray reflects or bounces back to the same medium and that ray is the reflected ray and from the point of incidence we can draw a line perpendicular to the surface and that line is the normal and the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lies on the same plane so let's have a look on the laws of reflection laws of reflection when light is reflected from a smooth surface the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal the incident ray reflected ray and normal to the surface are in the same plane these are the laws of reflection next one regular and irregular reflection these are the two types of reflection regular reflection forms on smooth surfaces example reflection in plane mirror here the reflection happens such that the angle of reflection of the light is equal to the angle of incidence and on the opposite side of the normal to the point of incidence this is the regular reflection next one irregular reflection also called diffuse reflection this happens in rough surfaces example reflection on wall when light falls on a rough surface it undergoes an irregular reflection this is also called scatter reflection here light undergoes reflection but no image is formed though in the dust particles of the atmosphere light undergoes scatter reflection this is called scattering so let's see what are the differences between regular reflection and irregular reflection first one regular reflection it occurs from smooth surface image formation takes place there if incident rays are parallel reflected rays are also parallel and about irregular reflection it occurs from rough surface no images are formed on irregular reflection sometimes blurred images are formed reflected rays scatter in different directions in the case of irregular reflection so let's see the definitions of regular and irregular reflection first one regular reflection when parallel rays of light fall on a smooth surface the reflected rays are parallel this is called regular reflection regular reflection forms images of objects then irregular reflection when parallel rays of light fall on a rough surface the reflected rays are not parallel this is called irregular reflection or diffused reflection diffused reflection does not form images of objects next one image formation by a plane mirror here we can see a source of light that is a candle placed in front of a plane mirror and two rays emerge from the object strike the mirror and reflect into the observer's eye and you note that we use the law of reflection to construct the reflected rays here okay and if the reflected rays are extended backward behind the mirror they seem to originate from that point that we can see in this video in reality 
these rays comes from the points on the mirror where they are reflected and the image formed is the virtual image because they cannot be projected onto a screen the rays only appear to originate from a common point behind the mirror next we are going to study about the properties of image formed by a plane mirror the first point the image formed by the plane mirror is virtual and the size of the object is equal to the size of the image third point the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror that means the both of the distance are equal and the fourth one the image formed is laterally inverted next one multiple reflection when two mirrors are placed at an angle they can together form multiple images this is because the image formed by one mirror becomes the object for the other mirror and the number of images formed by changing the angle between the mirrors is calculated by using the formula 360 divided by theta minus 1 where 360 is the angle between the mirrors this is the equation which shows the relation between the angle between the mirrors and the number of images for example here the angle between the mirrors is 45 degree for finding the number of images here we want to apply the value of theta as 45 degree and by solving this we will get the number of images as 7 so 7 images are formed when the mirrors are arranged at an angle of 45 degree like this we can find out the number of images by applying this formula to different angle between the mirrors that you can see here so try to complete the table 4.1 and find out the number of images using this formula thank you for watching see you in the next video